Inclusion Island presents a guide to applying for social housing supports. This video is a guide to the checklist that comes with the application form for social housing supports. It is part of a series of three videos. The other two are called the first steps and filling in the form. Listen to each point and think about any documents that you might need to look for that you don't already have. You can pause and go back at any time. The first part of the checklist is for personal information. This includes photo identification, which can be a passport or Irish driver's license, a birth certificate for you and all the people who live with you right now, and evidence of your PPSN. Again, this includes all of the people who live in the same household as you at the moment. Marriage certificates for all applicants where applicable and proof of current address. This can be a utility bill, lease, rental statement, but it has to be your name on the account. Now, if it is the case that your name is not on any of these, say if you are living with your parents, for example, we have been informed that you could attach something in writing to say this. It would be of extra help if you could have this signed by someone such as a member of the Gardaí, your local TD, disability service provider, or someone who holds a position of trust in your community, such as a priest or notary. The next section is called Income Information and is where you provide all the necessary information about how much money is currently coming into your household and how. For this section, if you are employed or self-employed, you will probably want to set up an account with the Revenues Online Service. You can do this by going to www.ros.ie and clicking the blue register button on the top right of the screen. If you have gathered all the information and documents that you will need before, it will be a fairly simple process. Ask somebody you trust for support if you like. The information you need includes your PPS number, your date of birth, mobile or landline number, email address and home address. So that your account is set up as quickly as possible, you need to provide two documents which can include an Irish driver's license, a payslip and an income tax notice of assessment or acknowledgement of self-assessment. Don't worry if you can't get instant access, the revenue will send you out a password by post. It will just take a little bit longer. Then you fill in the form and Revenue will send you your temporary password by email or post. You can then use this to get into your new account, but then you'll need to create a new password. And you're all set up with your own online Revenue account. If you are employed, there is some information from this year you will need and some information from last year. From this year, you need to provide all of your pay slips since January or a pay and tax summary for this year. You can get this from the Revenues Online Service, My Account. That's the account that we just talked about. From last year, you're going to need a statement of liability and an employment detail summary. You can get both of these from Revenues Online Service, My Account. If you get social welfare payments, you will need to send information and proof of your payments. The Department of Social Protection will give you a statement that will show you what money you received from them. You can ask about this at your local Intrio office. If you are self-employed, you will need to provide two years of accounts with an auditor's report and a notice of assessment and or a self-assessment acknowledgement letter for the past 12 months. 
The next section of the checklist is for other documentation required. Some of these may not apply to you. If they don't apply to you, then you can just write the letters N, A or not applicable in these sections on the form. So, if it applies to you, then send in marriage certificate, proof of separation or divorce, documentation regarding any properties owned, proof of your connection to the area if you are not currently living in it. If you received social housing supports in the past, you need to provide a letter from the approved housing body or local authority. A completed HMD Form 1 and an occupational therapist report. We have a handy video on filling in the HMD Form 1 in the housing section of our website. It's also at the end of our video called Filling the Form. For more information about housing and supported independent living, check us out at www.inclusionisland.ie forward slash housing. Inclusion Island works towards the full inclusion of people with intellectual disabilities by supporting people to have their voices heard and advocating for rights under the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. This is also known as the UNCRPD. If you'd like to know more about our work, you can find us on our website at www.inclusionisland.ie or why don't you check us out on our social media? You'll find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. If you found this video useful, head on over to our YouTube channel, click like and subscribe to keep informed about new content and join our movement for change.